Welcome back to the Engineered Angler, or welcome if you haven't been here before. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome and uh, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, today what I'm doing is going through what we can do with some powder paint from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight sells powder paint in yellow, white, red, and black. Not much to work with when you're trying to mix colors, but you can actually get some decent colors. Here's a, um, here's a bullet weight that I powder painted in a uh, pumpkin seed, more or less. It took me a little while to figure out how to mix a pumpkin seed color out of these limited colors. But stick around, I'll show you what the formula is. Well, yeah, these are Harbor Freight uh, powder paints. They sell them in 16 ounce, one pound jars, which is four times what anybody would ever use in a lifetime, making jig heads anyway. A um, Couple of quick overviews of what the colors really are in here. White is actually white and that it's uh, nice and glossy. What I've done is taken some of that powder paint and powder painted uh, some nail heads just so I could have them as color samples. Uh, the red is kind of an orangey red, but it's not too bad. I held off from buying the black because as you can read on the label, it says matte. So in, in my mind, matte means flat or no shine, right? Well, turns out it's just as glossy as the rest of them. So I've been mixing these things. I've been experimenting a bunch and it's really frustrating because they're wacky. You can't really truly blend uh, powder paints because they stay as uh, independent colors. The particles of each one maintain their own color. The blending of those colors kind of give you the impression of a changed color. It's a little weird, but I actually was able to uh, accomplish quite a bit. I was surprised that I was able to get so many different shades. Hopefully you can see this. I was trying to get a uh, pumpkin seed or a watermelon but after a lot of experimentation I was able to get uh, a light pumpkin seed a medium pumpkin seed and a dark pumpkin seed okay let's cut to the chase I'm gonna show you what the formulas are I got them written on the dry erase board okay let's talk about the pumpkin seed first I was able to get a light medium and dark like I showed you and these are ratios basically two parts of yellow half a part of black, one part red, and one part white will give you that light version of the pumpkin seed. And then as you go on, now it doesn't matter what units you use. If you use, what I was using is a half a teaspoon. Uh, you can use a tablespoon depending on how much you want to actually make. Uh, half a teaspoon makes quite a bit. Uh, so it depends on what you want to do. Of course, if you're buying this stuff a pound, at a time it's super inexpensive compared to the stuff that's pre-mixed for you um, but you do end up with four pounds of uh, powder paint that you may or may not ever use but what I would recommend if you've got four buddies <laughs> that are willing to do this with you uh, each one buy a color and then you split them up and then everyone has a lifetime supply okay moving on to watermelon red as you can see there's a question mark uh, the green in the watermelon red isn't that uh, green, but it, it tends towards the green, so it, it actually looks halfway decent. Uh, and that's, that's the formula. Pretty simple, right? One part yellow, one and a half part black, and half part white. You can add a little bit of red in it if you want to. It tends to push it towards the brown a little, uh, but it looks kind of good. All right, I want to go ahead and mix the light version of the pumpkin seed. Okay, so first things first, the formula calls for two part yellow. So I'm using this half of a teaspoon. It's an old little teaspoon my wife let me steal from the kitchen. And this little popsicle stick to level and to mix with. That's one, that's two. I like to keep around a soft towel just to clean the dust off so you don't, so you don't foul up your other colors. So the next one is a half black. So that's about half. And then one part red. 
and finally one part white. Blending them is just a matter of stirring. You'll know it's combined when your eye tells you it's combined because realistically those little particles keep their color. They don't really blend. Remember too that the color that you see in powder form in your little mix isn't exactly what you're going to get at the end. It tends to go a little darker than what you're seeing. Right, so I'm about done mixing and you can see that the color is kind of like a flesh tone. Let's grab a nail, color the head, and you'll see what it looks like. There you go, that's the lighter version of the pumpkin seed. This, while well, this doesn't match, it does kind of capture or combine a little bit with some of those fleck colors. Well, I've got it mixed. Uh, I won't go through all the mixing again since I already showed you some. Uh, but it came out pretty nice. It's difficult to tell, but if you look up on the rim of the cup, you can start seeing a little bit of greening. That's probably not showing up on the camera. But as a demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and powder paint these, uh, this screw and head. So one other little tip, it never looks exactly what it's going to look like until it actually is completely cooled. So I'll quench it with some water. There it is. Not too bad having to deal with Harbor Freight colors. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helped somebody. I uh, hope you get something out of your Harbor Freight paint. Next time I'll be doing a video on how I make these shaky head jigs. Real easy to do and they look great once you powder paint them. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.